Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 2 or Bookmas Day 2, the second day of the 12 days of Bookmas. My name is Franny and today I'm going to do the end of the year book tag. This tag was created by Ariel Bisset, so I will leave the link to her original video in the description down below, but I'm sure you've watched it because this tag is everywhere and everyone loves Ariel as they should. I'm aware I should have done this tag in September or October because that's when you're supposed to do the tag and I thought I was too late but I'm still seeing people to this day uploading this video which means I can still do that and I needed content for Bookmas. So here I am doing my end of the year book tag for 2020. Are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? <sighs> Well, <laughs> if you went to my... Charlie, don't move the camera, okay? No, 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 honey, come here. I apologize in advance for any movement of the camera, but my mom is out and my dog Charlie is in the bedroom with me and he's just playing with whatever he finds, now my socks, because he feels lonely, so... I apologize for that. If you go to my profile on Goodreads, which please do and let's be friends on Goodreads, you will see that I have like... 10, 15 books on my currently reading shelf. Of course, I'm not currently reading 15 books, but they're just there. What I would like to finish before the end of the year is A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor um, by Hank Green. I started the audiobook of the second book in the Carl series and I wasn't particularly enjoying it because there are multiple narrators and I didn't like a couple of them. So then I switched to the ebook and then I got to a chapter that was just bad. I couldn't get through it, it was literally a, a pain to read it. Um, I, I don't want to spoil so I, I can't say what chapter it was, but let's just say I stopped reading it, this was back in August. But an absolutely remarkable thing, which is the first book in the series, was my favorite book of last year. It's one of my favorite books of all times. I re-listened to the audiobook of it this year before starting the second book and I loved it even more. So I feel like I have to give A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor another chance and I think I might try again with the audiobook but I want, I have to finish it this year before the year ends. I have less than 20 days I can make it happen. I also wanted to finish Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. It's not happening this year, so that's going to be one of my priorities for 2021 because hate on me as much as you want, I was liking it. The teenager in me was still loving it, so that's all that matters. Do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? And that is the reason why this tag should have been filmed in October. So you have something to transition into the end of the year, because now we are at the end of the year. Let's say I've already transitioned. I am currently reading Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, which is a very Christmas book. I've transitioned already. I... it happened. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? <laughs> no. I'm sorry. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? I'm not gonna tell you because another vlogmas video will be my, let's say, Christmas TBR, which is not just the Christmas TBR, but it's kind of like a TBR for the less 20 days that I have left, <laughs> that we all have left in this year. So that's coming right up. Stay tuned. Charlie's sitting down in front of the camera now. He's behaving. It's not gonna last for long, so... Let's take advantage of that. Is there a book you think would still shock you and become your favorite of the year? Yes. I mean, the thing is, I plan on reading books that I really want to read and I think I'll really enjoy them, but at the same time, I don't know if they have the potential to become favorites of the year or something. I guess we'll see, but one book I would really like to read is Any On My Mind by Nancy Garden, and this is an LGBT YA story that is very old. I think it was published in the 70s or the 80s or um, something like that, and it's said during Christmas, and I, I mean... What's not to love about it? I, I have high hopes. It's kind of a classic, I think. So, yeah. And last but not least, have you already started making reading plans for 2021? So, 2020 was a very shitty year. 
um, that's an understatement. Great things happened in 2020, don't get me wrong, at least for me, uh, but let's say that when it comes to reading and when it comes to my mental health, it wasn't a good year, okay? Because of COVID, of course. So I had all these plans at the end of 2019 for 2020 and all those plans just went to shit. So um, in 2021, I would like to read. <laughs> I would like to read more and I would like to listen to more audiobooks, that's for sure, because when there was a lockdown here in Italy, I couldn't go run, therefore I wasn't really listening to audiobooks because that's when I mostly listened to my audiobooks. Compared to 2019, when I think I listened to more than 30 audiobooks, I don't even know how many I listened to this year, but it's definitely less than 30, definitely less than 20. So. I hope to change that in 2021 and I would like to be more um, caught up with the new releases which is something that I wanted to do for this year but again it didn't happen because my mind just wasn't there my mind couldn't focus on words couldn't focus on pages couldn't focus on anything pretty much so these are my reading plans for 2021 if you can even call them reading plans. This was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching even though it came very late. So I, I realized I didn't answer to some questions, but that's, that's 2020 for you all. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow, which is going to be Vlogmas or Bookmas day three, and I'm going to give you some recommendations for Christmas audiobooks. Of course, you can like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, or anything you do will be very appreciated by me, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Vlogmas video. Warm hugs!